Hello, this is uh, Simon reporting for the Occupy News Network. I'm at the eastern end of the XL Centre and today we see hundreds of uh, activists, protesters and concerned citizens that have come here to make a point about the global arms trade. They've come today because this is the uh, towards the end, if not the end of the uh, week of action to stop the world's largest arms fair, which is due to start on Tuesday. At the arms fair, uh, around 1,500 different uh, corporations and organisations are invited to come and merchandise and sell their products. But the products that they sell contribute to refugee crises, they contribute to war, they'll sell weapons to both sides in the same war, often, at the same conference. It's blatant, the revolving door between governments and arms industries. They always say in activism and civil disobedience, you'll know when you're making a difference. I don't know whether this year is when they brought four police horses to a peaceful protest to parade up and down the road to facilitate the sale of arms. Yep, you definitely know when you get into the, uh, when you get into the machine. I just want to give a shout out of thanks to the uh, people that have supported it this week in terms of food and uh, local residents have given up showers and invited us in to charge phones and show their solidarity. Um, today we have a vegan kitchen over in the Occupy the Arms Fair camp. That camp number is around 30 tents at the moment. Yeah, I'd like to say thanks to all the uh, legal observers from Green and Black Cross. Fine example here. The members of the live stream are saying thanks for your work this week, for your legal observing. If you're interested in becoming a legal observer, if you go to Green and Black Cross, it's a... Uh, I think it's one day or two days training, you can be a legal observer and it's uh, critical to make sure that when people are arrested they understand their rights around uh, what they can and can't give. So if you ever stopped and searched, there are no powers which require you to give your name and address unless you're actually arrested under a particular power. Um, this information is really important because often with the 80 arrests we've had, not many of these will go to court because there's little evidence to make them stick. So the LOs are absolutely critical, a critical facilitator on a uh, protest like this where mass civil disobedience is the tactic we've chosen. So there are actions during the week of the arms fair. So our exhibitions, uh, the arms fair is on the 12th to the 15th, I think it's a Tuesday on the 12th there. Um, typical things that have happened are leave between the local uh, population. So. Businessmen, residents will rub shoulder to shoulder with arms dealers on the DLR. So ELAF have a, uh, a musical protest on a regular basis. Their East London residents concerned about the arms fair because it's always at the same location. And East London residents have an ongoing permanent campaign to, to have this stopped. So you use uh, peaceful musical means, lots of uh, awareness raising. If you live in East London, have a look at ELAF, East London against the arms fair and you can find them. So this is a, uh, a week of action by Stop the Arms Fair, which is the direct action wing, I suppose, of Campaign Against the Arms Trade. So caat.org.uk. And CAT are the, uh, the facilitators of the kind of legal and awareness raising on a you know, more of an industrial scale. So they're full-time campaigners working against this, this industry. Okay, so we're going to sign off here from the eastern end of the XL Centre. Um, events today, there's a musical protest by ELAF. There's a cycle ride by uh, Critical Mass. Um, I'm sure there'll be more individual acts of uh, heroism and more civil disobedience, which has been the real theme of this week. Normal people come together, um, all ages, genders, religions. We've had Buddhist monks, we've had um, Jewish people against Zionism over there, are there today. We've had refugees, we've had transgender and queer people come down and talk about no pride in war. We've had um, Quakers abseiling from a bridge, we've had reverends being arrested. So this is not one demographic of people, this is everyone coming together with one cause. It's pretty amazing to see.